and welcome to another edition of the Altima Moment. My name is David Crozier. What is your role in a joint force? That question and more was answered front and center February 14th when Command Sergeant Major John Wayne Troxell, the third senior enlisted advisor to the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, spent time with the students of Sergeant Major's Course Class 67. The SEAC provided the class with an overview of his lines of operation, the current operating environment, global integration, the chairman's priorities and focus areas, including joint readiness, joint warfighting, and joint forces next. He also discussed desired enlisted leader attributes and joint enlisted education. Afterwards, I caught up with him for a few questions. What is your main purpose really coming here today? Well, I just want them to understand uh, the direction we're going as a defense department and the direction we're going to get after potential adversaries or threats to the homeland and what their role is going to be in that as they move out and get back into our expeditionary force after they complete uh, their time here at the Sergeant Majors Academy. Now, uh, it's been about 11 years since you uh, first put together your Striker Brigade combat team as a command sergeant major of a brigade, and you've moved all the way up to the senior enlisted. Uh, what things have you learned along the way that you can depart to the future sergeants majors of the Army? Never forget where you came from and understand that everything you do uh, in your career as you move up, uh, you got to remember Will that make sense to the man and woman on the ground that may have to execute that in combat? And always make sure that you stay relevant, that you're relevant to your commander and you're relevant to your organization. And you understand the vision of the commander, the priorities of the organization, the mission of the organization, and you're putting yourself in as the senior enlisted leader to assist in getting to that uh, objective. Now, what do you uh, tell the junior and uh, NCOs when you go around the field and you visit them in their um, areas of work? I tell them that their job is always the same, to lead by example in everything they do, in word and deed. It's not so much what they tell their subordinates, but what they show their subordinates in terms of what the right example is and the direction they ought to go to build their career. So you've got to be a lead by example. And I go back to the old Iron Mike statue at Fort Bragg and how Iron Mike was in World War II. Follow me, and I'll show you how to get it done. That's the way our, our young NCOs have to be. Follow me. Now, you represent the, the enlisted folks from all the different services. When you go out to visit them, what are the commonalities that you see from everyone? Uh, that we have the greatest men and women uh, in our military. Less than 25% of all 18 to 25-year-olds in American society qualify for military service. So when we bring those men and women in, we've got the best that America has to offer. And in turn, they grow and develop, especially if they stay in, to become non-commissioned officers and become senior enlisted leaders that in the end continues to build on this greatest competitive advantage we have in over, over any adversary or any other nation and that being in the human domain on what we do to train, educate and empower enlisted leaders. And as the senior enlisted advisor, chairman of the chief, why is it important for you to come and visit the Sergeant Majors Academy? This is a premier institution and this is the, this isn't the culmination of a career for these senior enlisted leaders. This is the beginning. We're providing them the tools here over the year that they're here so that this will launch their career. I graduated from this hallowed institution in 2001 and here I am 16 years later serving as the senior enlisted advisor to the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. By spending the year here that was my launch pad for my career and now here I am 16 years later, still as a sergeant major and now serving at the highest level. And were it not for this institution, I would have never made it to where I'm at. And while you were talking to the students today, this morning, you talked about that ethical NCO leader. And you talked about how some senior leaders kind of forget where they're at. What do you tell the force? That, uh, like I said in there, think of how the span of control of people that you have. And if you're a battalion sergeant major and you have 500 soldiers, that's a thousand eyes looking at you every day on what is right, what is wrong, what they can get away with, or what the expected standard is for them as a service member serving in that organization. So we can never forget that. And if, uh, you know, there's temptations out there everywhere. And we've just got to be those ethical leaders that are above that and Wherever those temptations are, we exploit that and eliminate it within our organizations or our sphere of influence.
You can follow the SEAC as he visits the troops around the world on his Facebook page, SEAC.JCS. Thanks for watching the Altima Moment. Till next time.